Welcome back to the Personality Quotient Conversations and our topic of discussion for today is the value of not giving up. The speaker I have with me is Sarmat Tariq. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. So Sarmat, your thoughts or your opinions about the topic, value of not giving up? I can only link it to myself uh, because that is the, you know, most of my experience is based on living my life with the condition that I have, which is quadriplegia due to spinal cord injury. It's been 20 years and uh, um, I've seen a lot of people uh, go through many different and difficult phases in life and uh, I've seen a lot of families go through that, societies go through that, Pakistan going through that right now. But one thing that I can say for certain is that um, had I stopped when I had my accident or had my family stop when uh, they lost their only son in an not uh, as in uh, passed away but you know uh, lost in the sense of capacity etc so uh, things would have been very complicated and would have been very dry and dull uh, I've been able to struggle throughout my uh, you know what do you call uh, medical complications and then being able to educate myself and then being able to get into a mainstream career where I could get financial independence and because of that financial independence have something in society also you know uh, and then being ag able to achieve my dreams etc. I think uh, the there is no alternative than to keep going. If you give up, it's basically committing a suicide. And a suicide uh, which is very painful because uh, uh, mostly the suicides are quick. You know, you shoot yourself in the head, you die instantly. You throw yourself in front of a car, you die instantly. I'm not giving any ideas about uh, how to commit suicide. But uh, the worst suicide is quitting. And uh, when you quit on life or you quit on an idea, or ideal, I would say, ideas so aate jaate rehte hain, uh, values or anything of the sort, you are basically committing suicide and you are trying to put yourself on a bed and waiting to die. Or wo pain jo hai, that is torturous for you and for people around you. And uh, I think uh, the only way that I can put the value of not giving up is, uh, giving up is suicide and not giving up is all about living. And I think we are in this world to live and uh, life comes to us only once and it is not a rehearsal. Uh, we have, uh, you know, most of uh, our capacities to do things so that, you know, we can have a better afterlife. So okay. that's my whole take on this. So you're right, uh, it's equal to committing a suicide, but still a lot of us, they are ready to give up. They just think that's the last step, that's nothing can be done beyond that. How do you get out of that feeling? I don't, um, I would not agree to the fact that, you know, our youth is totally giving up or I think they are more uh, filled with anger and uh, hopelessness and frustration which makes them, you know, either give up or do something very stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I don't know, it's a, it's a very tricky question in, in, in a way that I don't have a, you know, a jadu ki chadi that, you know, ma magic wand that, you know, make me get up in the morning or struggle through life or whatever. I do it for myself only. My only interest is myself. And uh, whatever I do, I dissociate myself from my problems. For example, if I'm on a wheelchair and I'm planning to do something, I do not think about sitting in a wheelchair. I take myself out of my body. Uh, you know, it's easier said than done, but um, the concept is to get free from my problems and then think that I want to do what I want to do and when you come to mental frame, then you realize that this is also an opportunity, this is also an opportunity, this is also an opportunity. Yeah. But uh, us, uh, and then you see your problems externally and then you learn to, you know, work your way around those problems and then come back into your body and do stuff. So uh, the way I look at it is with a clear head and uh, you know not thinking about the problems too much rather thinking about the ways to get around your problems. 
so that is the key to you know keep going and learning new things etc with this we come to the end of this conversation for more personality coaching conversations visit www.personalitycoaching.com